Good morning. My life sucks. Oh, smells good though. I can't believe our trip is today. Ow! Close the door on my nose. Ow, ow, ow. Like totally rude much? Ooh, that smells so good. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. I can't wait for our trip to begin. Oh, good. You girls are awake. Well, good morning, sweethearts. Oh my gosh, what the? Why are you wearing your sunglasses indoors, especially now for breakfast? I mean, I know it's a really nice day and all outside, but wearing your sunglasses inside nowadays isn't cool anymore. You look ridiculous. Leave me alone, you don't understand. I can't believe our family vacation starts today. I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses for the rest of the trip. Uptown girl, why are you wearing your sunglasses, sweetheart? Your sister's right, you know. There's no hats and no sunglasses at the eating table. Can you please take them off? Oh, but dad, but dad, I can't. For your big fat information, I can't take off my sunglasses because I have pink eye. Both of my eyes look horrible. I am not taking off my sunglasses. Oh my God, really? Come on, take them off. I wanna see. Oh honey, I'm sure it's not that bad. Let me see, how's your pink eye? Yeah, take it off, take it off. Let me see how bad your eyes are. <laughs> no way, you're just gonna laugh at me. It's not funny, you know. <laughs> oh, we promise we're not going to laugh, right, Crystal Star? Uh, right, yeah, I promise I'm not gonna laugh. Come on, take it off, let me see. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see very clearly. Can you take it off again, but a little bit longer? <laughs> oh, what did you say, honey? Oh, I thought I heard her say dad dad there. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Um, sorry, I was distracted by your little sister. Can you uh, take it off so I can see it again, please? <sighs> Fine. See? Oh my god, those are some serious pink eye. Do you think we should take you to the hospital? <laughs> I can't believe you got pink eye on the day of a family trip. Oh, they look so bad. They are so red. Oh my god. Hey, it's not funny. Stop laughing. See, this is why I didn't even want to show you. I knew you are going to make fun of me. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. Okay, I'm not laughing. <laughs> okay, we might have some time. So maybe we'll head off to the hospital just to get your eyes checked out before we head to the airport. No way! I don't want anyone to see my eyes! They look horrible! I am not going to the hospital! Okay, breakfast is ready, family! For breakfast this morning, we're just having eggs and bacon because we ran out of toast. Uh -oh. Let's just have a nice quick breakfast here and then when we head to the airport, we can grab some more food. Okay, final plate to set up the table. I'll just put it down right here. There, all done. Mmm, looks good, Mom. Thank you. This should get us through the morning and we can grab more food later. I'm not even hungry. I hate my life right now. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy, for putting your car away. Now look, I got breakfast prepared for you. Now please go wash your hands and have a seat with your big sisters. But I don't want bacon and eggs for breakfast. Can I have ice cream instead? Please, please. Oh, or cake. Absolutely not, Daisy. Whenever have I ever given you ice cream or cake for breakfast? It's a hard no. Mmm, the bacon's really good. Come on, Daisy, come here and try some bacon. No, no, I don't want to eat any eggs or bacon for breakfast. I already said so. I do what I want. I want some ice cream or cake. Daisy, you're not having ice cream or a cake for breakfast, and that's final, young lady. Come here, please. Oh, I want cake or ice cream. Please, please, Mommy, just a little bit of ice cream. No, Daisy, close the fridge, please, and come here. No. Oh my god, my sister behaves this way because my parents are always giving her everything she wants. Literally, whenever Daisy wants something, my parents always buys it for her and gives it to her. <sighs> Mommy, 
Mommy, I never fight. That's why I'm a good girl and I deserve new toys, right? Big sister, big sister, look. Mommy and Daddy took me to the mall today and we had ice cream and yogurt and lunch and we got a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, I think we might have gone overboard with that. Look at all of these bags. I knew I would regret going to the toy store with your little sister, but I couldn't resist her puppy face. <sighs> and now look, bought so much stuff at the mall. What? This is so unfair. You bought her toys? I should have went to the mall today. Maybe I could have gotten a new outfit or something. Mom, it's so unfair. You're always buying toys and dolls for little sister. She's so spoiled. I know, I know. She does have a lot of toys, but girl, she also gets a lot of your handy-downs. So some of those toys are yours. And the toys that we bought today here will be especially for her. I think she deserves new toys instead of just getting your handy-down, girls. Mm. Mom, I feel like you're always taking baby sister's side in every argument. I promise I'm not. We went to the toy store and it was really big and I wanted everything there but mommy was like no, I can only pick a few items. So I got some new dolls. Oh, and I got a big new dollhouse. Mm, yeah, we got a big dollhouse. It's heavier than I thought. Hopefully we'll have room for this gigantic dollhouse. Thank you, Daddy. It's a really pretty dollhouse. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to have it. There's so many pretty furnitures, and the bedrooms are huge. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. You got her another dollhouse? She already has a dollhouse. This one right here that she hasn't even played with. So why does she need another dollhouse when she already has one? But, but that's a handy-down dollhouse. It's your dollhouse. It's not mine, and it's also... Sticky, you were eating candy and you got stickiness all on the door. I want my own dollhouse and my dollhouse is even bigger than your dollhouse. Even though I still like my dollhouse, I'm still going to play with it. It's just that it's too small for some of my dolls. Whatever, it's just candy. You can just wipe it off. I can't believe you got a bigger dollhouse than my old dollhouse. <laughs> na 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 na, you're just jealous. We went to the mall and we even had ice cream and then mommy took me shopping for some new clothes and I got this whole new outfit, it's really pretty. And I got some dolls and I also got a new teddy bear. This is the best day ever. Mommy bought me a new outfit, it's really pretty. And she got me matching skirts and boots. This shirt is so fuzzy and warm. And this skirt matches it. And also these boots. It's a complete pink set. Then afterwards, we went to the toy store and look at all the toys I got. I got this new Barbie doll where I can style her hair. And then I got myself a fairy doll. She has wings. And then I got myself a truck so that um, I already had the Barbie car, so I wanted a truck. Oh, and look in this bag. I got this really cute soft teddy bear pillow. It's so cute. And then I also got Ariel. I always wanted Princess Ariel and now I have her. Uh, that's all. Ta-da! OMG, look at all the stuff that you got. How much did mom and dad spend on you today? You got all that stuff and it's not even Christmas yet? Life is so unfair. See, see, look. My new dollhouse is way bigger than my old dollhouse. This way, I'll be able to fit my dolls because my dolls are really tall. I really liked my old dollhouse, but all the doors are really sticky and it's really small. There's just not enough bedrooms. See, it's way smaller than my new dollhouse. Even though I still like it, I'll still play with it. But look, ta-da! This room is so big and look at all the furniture that comes with the dollhouse. My dolls will fit in here and also, this dollhouse even comes with a dining room table and a kitchen and there are stairs to go up. There's even a second floor. My other dollhouse is only one floor. This is way bigger. Mm, we get it, we get it. Stop rubbing it in our face. Seriously, we're just gonna have to accept that our little sister gets whatever she wants from our parents just because she's the youngest and they think she's adorable. Whatever, I'm getting back to my show. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. What? No, I didn't agree to that.
Forget your stupid show. Come on, let's watch The Bachelorette. I have the remote. No, I don't want to watch The Bachelorette show. Besides, I didn't even watch last episode. I'm not going to know what happened. Just let me finish my show and then you can watch yours. Give me back the remote. No, my show's going to be over. No, then let me watch it now and then you can hear it from your friends. No, give me the remote. No. Oh, this is not the relaxing weekend that I was really hoping for. Girls, girls, please don't fight. You girls are giving me a headache. I just want to have a relaxing weekend. What are we watching? Ew, they look funny. I don't want to watch this. I want to watch Disney Princess. Mom, can I watch my favorite cartoon? Crystal Star, can I watch Tangle? Oh, or maybe Cinderella. Oh, no, 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 Sleeping Beauty. That's my favorite. Oh, wait, no, I like The Little Mermaid, too. Oh, can we just watch any Disney Princess show? No, we're not going to watch Disney Princess. You can watch that anytime. My show airs right now and I can only watch it live. So we're watching The Bachelorette. Um, I want to watch TV and watch Disney Princess. But Crystal Star won't let me. Please let me watch Disney Princess, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't cry, don't cry. Not the waterworks. Girls, girls, can you please just let your little sister watch her favorite show because she needs to eat something. Uh, we need to feed her a bottle and she needs to take her nap because she's getting very cranky. Oh, Oh, this is so annoying. She got to go to the mall and get all of her favorite toys and get a new outfit and everything. And now she comes home and she just cries a little and she also gets to watch her shows. So unfair, mom. Well, she'll just be watching for a bit, right, honey? Uh huh, I'm just gonna watch for a little bit. I always watch Disney Princess when I'm drinking my bottle of milk. Just for a little bit, girls, I promise. Your sister will be taking her nap soon. Nah, uh, I'm not sleepy at all. I'm gonna stay awake, I'm gonna stay awake, I'm gonna stay awake forever. I know it's hard girls, being a big sister can be really hard sometimes, there are a lot of sacrifices, but please, uh, she needs to watch something so that she can take her nap. Mm, fine, whatever, just take the remote, I'm just gonna find out from my friends what happens at school, and I'm not gonna be part of any of the conversations then. Here, just take it, just take it, go watch your Disney princess show. Thank you Crystal Star, you're the bestest big sister ever. What do you guys want to watch? Do you want to watch Tangle? Or do you want to watch The Little Mermaid? Or Cinderella? Or Beauty and the Beast? Or uh, The Princess and the Frog? <gasps> I know, let's watch Mulan. Yeah, today is a Mulan day. Mm, we don't care. We've seen all of these Disney princess shows a million times with you already. Yeah, just play anything. This is my favorite part. I wonder what happens next. You know what happens next because you've seen this a million times. Gotta admit, the songs are really catchy. Now that's the spirit. Yup, sharing is caring. Oh, but look at all this mess on the floor. Daisy, what have we talked about cleaning up after yourself when you're playing? Look at all of these toys. I'll clean it up after I finish watching Mulan, Mommy. <gasps> There's even more toys back here. Oh my 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 my, why did we buy you a new dollhouse and a bunch of new dolls when you already have so much toys? Oh, the house is gonna be covered with toys at this rate. And because Daisy gets whatever Daisy wants, now she's the biggest brat in this house. Oh. Mommy and Daddy don't love me anymore! Daisy, please close the fridge. You can have some ice cream after breakfast. It's not fair! I want cake and ice cream for breakfast now. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat any eggs or bacon for breakfast. No! Come on, Daisy, the bacon is really good. Come try some. I say no, it's no! I do what I want. I eat what I want. I don't want no eggs or bacon. Daisy, please, let's just eat some bacon and eggs for now so you won't get hungry. And we can grab something else to eat later, okay? No! I said I want to have McDonald's or cake or ice cream for breakfast. Come on, Daisy. We have to eat breakfast before we start heading off to the airport. 
If you don't eat your breakfast, we're just gonna leave without you and you're not gonna get to come with us on a plane and then you won't get to go skiing. Fine, I'm just gonna stay here and I'm gonna have all the ice cream and the cake to myself. I'm not going. <laughs> oh my gosh, my little sister is so spoiled. This is what happens when my mom and dad lets her do whatever she wants and she never gets punished for anything that she ever does. This is why she's such a spoiled little brat sometimes. She never listens to anyone. I'm getting out of the shower. I don't want to get the floor wet, so I'm going to stop my foot on the carpet here. <sighs> oh, seriously, Crystal Star, I can't believe you couldn't give me 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, duty calls. Oh my gosh, this handbag is so cute. Oh, oh, don't mind me. Just do your thing. Blow dry your hair. I don't Mind. Go ahead. Oh, but I mind. Yuck, it stinks in here. Oh, spray something. Seriously, we need to move to a bigger house because we have to share one bathroom for the entire family and it can be so gross sometimes. Nah, I don't really mind. Family bonding. Oh, hey, it looks like Swank is calling me. Should I pick up? Is it weird? I'm, I am on the toilet, but I mean, it's Swag. Uh, we're best friends. I'm sure she won't mind. Okay, let me pick up this call then. Hey girl, what's up? I'm a little busy right now on the toilet, but up? Uh-huh. Oh no. What? She broke her leg? Well then we need to find another cheerleader to replace her. Yeah, let's do a posting at school and do a cheerleader tryout. Ugh, only you will take a phone call while you're in the washroom, Crystal Star. Gross, let me spray something here. Ugh, yuck. Yeah, okay, well I agree, just post it. Anyways, I have to go on the toilet. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Alrighty, back to my magazine here. Need more air freshener. Ooh. And over here as well. Can you like please hurry up? Oh, hurry up. <laughs> no way. Washroom time is an enjoyable experience. I like to take my time and enjoy myself. Thank you very much. Oh, sis, but then I have to blow dry my hair with you in the washroom here. Oh, this is so gross. More air freshener. Oh, yuck. Oh, I guess I have no choice but to start blow drying my hair with my sister on the toilet in the washroom with me. Look, big sisters. You guys, you guys, look. Do you see anything different about me? Because I found Crystal Star's blush and I put on some blush. Do I look pretty? Blow dry my hair. Oh, what? Daisy's in here now too? What did you say, Daisy? I didn't hear you. I said I found Crystal Star's blush and I put makeup on myself. Do I look pretty? <gasps> Is that my new blush? I haven't even gone to use it yet. I got it for my birthday and you opened it? How many times have I told you not to touch my stuff, Daisy? Especially my makeup. I love my makeup. I am so telling mom on you about this. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Now what is with all the chaos in the washroom tonight? Hi mommy. I wanted to look pretty, so I took Crystal Star's blush and put makeup on myself all by myself. Do you think I look pretty, mommy? <gasps> oh my goodness. Uh, pretty is not the word I would use. You look like a tomato. Okay, we're gonna have to wash all that off, honey. Mom, it's not funny. Daisy's always taking my stuff and she ruined my brand new blush that I got for my birthday. I didn't even open it yet. Yeah, Daisy's always ruining our stuff and she never gets in trouble for anything she does. Why is my hair so knotted tonight? Oh, okay, I got the knot out. Daisy, we need to have a talk. <laughs> I can't I can't even Okay, okay, I have to be firm. Daisy, we need to have a talk. You can't be touching your big sister stuff. But I want it to look pretty. Yes, but it is Crystal Star's blush and you can't take her stuff without asking for permission, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, mommy. Well, that's not my blush that you took, so it's not me that you have to apologize to. Who do you think you should apologize to, sweetie? Um to Santa Claus because I don't want to get cold for Christmas for being a bad girl? <clears throat> Young lady, no. Try again, please. To big sister? Mm-hmm, yes. Go apologize to your sister, please. You can't be taking your sister's stuff without asking for permission. Oh, what a mess. 
You owe your big sister an apology, young lady. Big sister, I'm sorry I took your blush without asking first. Please forgive me. <sighs> fine, fine, whatever. Just put it back where you found it. Mommy, I apologize to big sister already. Thank you, I saw that. Okay, now it's time to get off all this blush. With some face soap here, you look like a big red tomato, young lady. And you're too young to be wearing makeup. Makeup is for adults, okay? But Crystal Star and Uptown Girl wear makeup, and they're not adults, they're just teenagers. <laughs> well, somebody is a little smarty pants tonight. Let's wash this makeup off. Makeup is not for kids, maybe okay for teenagers, but definitely not for little girls. Mommy, I don't want soap in my eyes. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be careful not to get soap in your eyes. But we definitely need to scrub this off. Oh, you applied so much. Okay, let's rinse this off. Now we're all sharing the washroom together. That should do. Let's pat dry. Let's see, hopefully all your makeup came off. Did it all come off, Mommy? Yes, it did. Okay, but you know what? This is perfect timing because it's almost bedtime and we should also give you a shower before bed. No, can I have a bubble bath instead, please? I prefer a bubble bath, Mommy. Sure, sweetie, you can have a bubble bath. Let's take off your clothes. These are dirty clothes from today. And I'm just gonna put it into the laundry basket so that I will do the laundry tomorrow. Oh, we have so much dirty clothes in the laundry basket. Mom, you always give her everything that she wants. That's why she's so spoiled. Crystal's done. Instead of talking on the toilet, can you just focus on using the toilet? Yuck. <laughs> Pew! Something smells really bad, Mommy. <laughs> Sorry, you can't rush nature. I'm almost done. Just give me a few more minutes. Mom, this is why we need to move to a bigger house where we don't have to share one bathroom. Well, we just have to make do with what we have right now. And right now, it's bath time. Here you are, sweetie. Sit down. Okay, Mommy. Mommy, 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 can you put in a lot of bubble bath soap for me? I want a lot of bubbles tonight, Mommy. Okay, okay, but let's turn on the water first. And Mr. Ducky here will dispense us a lot of bubble bath soap. Okay, I think the water is not too hot and not too cold. How is it, sweetie? It's perfect, Mommy. It's not too hot and not too cold. Because there's so much bubbles. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop splashing, Daisy. You're getting water everywhere. Mom, Daisy's splashing water at me. This is what happens when you have to share a bathroom with your little sister. Bubble baths are only fun if you make a lot of bubbles. I have to splash. Mommy, look, look. There's so many bubbles in here. <laughs> I can blow the bubbles. <laughs> to make more bubbles, I have to move my arms around. Mommy, mommy, look. It's like I'm a bird on clouds. And I have to flap my arms if I'm a bird. <laughs> so many bubbles. Daisy, I told you not to splash. You're getting water everywhere. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Mom, Daisy isn't listening to me. My little sister is so spoiled, she never listens to me. And look at all the water on the floor. Oh no, what a mess. Okay, let me clean up the floor. It's okay, we'll just put a towel here. There, nice and clean. Daisy, your big sister, Uptown Girl, is right. No splashing water, please, young lady. Okay, sorry, Mommy. I won't do it no more. Wait, that's it? You're not gonna punish her? <sighs> she never gets in trouble for anything. Just because she's like the baby of the house. Ugh, it's so unfair. Speaking of which, since it's almost bedtime, I better go take a shower. Oh, I feel so much better. Okay, time to wash my hands and brush my teeth for bed. Where's the toothpaste? Oh, Uptown, can I have some toothpaste, please? Yep, sure. We're almost out of toothpaste, so come closer. I gotta squeeze it hard. Okay, thank you, that's enough. I'll brush my teeth so I can head to bed early, get my beauty sleep. 
Yeah, except it takes forever for our little sister to go to sleep. Okay, the floor is no longer wet, nice and clean. Okay, I better hop into the shower. Girls, do you think you can watch over your little sister for me? I'm just gonna be in the shower. Um, keep an eye on her, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, mom. She's quite the troublemaker, but since we're right here, I guess she can't do anything mischievous. I have to shower before bed. <laughs> oh, it's bedtime! Pinky, you need to get ready for bed too. Let's give you a shower. Come on, Pinky. You can go into the bathtub. There's still water inside. It's time for a bath. Huh? Wait, what? <gasps> no! Don't put Pinky in there. She's going to go crazy. She's already causing trouble. Oh, Pinky's going crazy. <gasps> oh no, Pinky. It's okay, it's okay. Don't run everywhere. Oh, you're getting water everywhere. <gasps> what a mess. Now there's water everywhere. Like most cats, Pinky does not like water. And she definitely hates baths. Uh-oh. There's water everywhere, Mommy. <gasps> what is going on? What happened? Well, I guess shower time is over. Look at this mess! There's water everywhere! I only stepped into the shower for 10 minutes and this happened? Girls, what happened here? I was just trying to give Pinky a bath so that she could be clean before bedtime too. But, but she got really scared and she ran all over the bathroom and got everything wet. I'm sorry, Mommy. Oh, baby, you are soaking wet. Oh, let's wrap you in a towel. We don't want you getting sick. Daisy, sweetheart, Pinky doesn't like water, so baths can be very scary for her. You shouldn't do that in the future, okay? Uh-huh. She got really scared, and I feel bad. I won't ever do that again. Good. And I'm sure she knows that you didn't mean to, but you still need to apologize to Pinky. Pinky, I'm sorry that I put you into a bubble bath. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry I scared you. Please forgive me. Good, looks like all is well. Pinky seems to have forgiven you. But there's still water everywhere, so we still need to clean up. Uptown girl, Crystal Star, could you please help me clean the washroom up? Wait, what? What just happened? She made this big mess, and now we have to clean it up? Oh, Cause she's the baby, so obviously she's mom's favorite. She never gets in trouble for anything. My little sister Daisy gets away with everything. Whenever she does something bad, all she has to do is apologize and she never oh gets punished Oh my gosh, my little sister anything. is so spoiled. And we are this is what happens when my mom and dad her. lets her do whatever she Someone wants and she sometimes. never gets punished for anything water. that she ever does. This there. is why she's Please, such now a spoiled the floor little is nice and sometimes. Dry again. She never listens to anyone. <gasps> it's okay family, let's just start eating. If Daisy doesn't want to eat, then she'll just have to stay home. No family vacation or skiing for Daisy. Uh oh. Mmm. Oh, this bacon is good. I'm not eating. I'm gonna skateboard. Hee <laughs> hee. Look, I learned a new trick. Ha! See, I can do that now. <laughs> I don't want to go on no stinking vacation. Oh man, Daisy's been getting out of hand lately. She hasn't really been listening to anything that we've been telling her to do. I think it's time we start disciplining her, but you know, we've spoiled her for so long, uh -oh. it's kind of hard now. Maybe if we leave her be for just a little bit, then she'll come over and eat. Let me try to do a flip. <laughs> oh, almost. <sighs> Flips are hard. Yeah, I don't think she's coming, Mom. And are you going to allow her to skateboard inside the house? Remember what happened last time? Uh -oh. good, honey. Oh, I'm just starving. Can't wait for dinner. Oh, I'm finally done dinner. Since we have such a picky eating family, I had to make everyone their favorite dish. So it took me a while. Nobody wants to eat the same thing in this family. Our girls are quite picky eaters, but I'm not a picky eater. I would have ate anything that you cooked for me. <laughs> oh, everything smells so good. 
Ooh, which one's my dish? Is it this one? Or is it that one? Or this one? I will really eat anything, honey. It all looks so good. I know, I know, I shouldn't spoil our girls, but ever since they were a baby, I've been making their favorite dishes for dinner and lunch. I know I shouldn't, but I always customize it to what they like the most. Well, if you ask me, I think that you are a very loving and patient mother. But now that our girls are more grown up, you don't have to spoil them anymore. Yeah, you're right, but I guess just breaking habits is harder than it looks. Okay, dinner's ready, we got forks on the table. Okay, time to call the girls, it's dinner time. Girls, come down for dinner please! Daddy's really hungry, hurry girls! Before the food gets cold, I can't wait to eat! Girls, Crystal Star, Uptown Girl, Daisy! Daddy, da, da, da. Hi Daddy, I'm here! Hold on, I just want to skateboard a little bit more. I just got the skateboards, I really want to skateboard! Coming, coming! Mom, did you make me eggs? For some reason, I want eggs, even though I already had eggs for breakfast. So weird, right? Present! I'm here! Ooh, something smells really good, Mom! I don't know how Mom does it every dinner time, but she manages to cook all of our favorite meals all the time. Oh, and it all smells so good. I kind of want a piece of yours. You can have some of mine if you give me some of yours. Deal! Deal! That's one of the good things about having siblings is that you can share food and stuff together. Don't you guys agree? Give this video a like if you do. Your mom has worked really hard on this dinner tonight, so let's enjoy it and really appreciate her hard work. Just look at how many dishes your mom made and how good all the dishes look. Your mom made this dinner which is so much love. Yay mommy, you're the bestest! Wee! Wee 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 wee! Mommy look! I can cheer for you and also skateboard with just one leg! Ta-da! Daisy, come on, stop skating around. It's dinner time. We have to eat dinner before it gets cold. And did you hear what Dad was saying? Let's appreciate Mom's hard work by really eating the food that she made for us. Daisy? Just a little bit longer. I'm skateboarding. Hit with one foot. <laughs> Dad, Daisy never listens to me. She's still skateboarding around and it's dinner time. Daisy, why are you skateboarding in the kitchen? You know you're not allowed to skateboard in the kitchen. Not yet, just a little longer. Just eat first without me. I'm gonna skateboard just a little longer, jeez. How are we supposed to focus and eat with you skateboarding back and forth? And besides, you're not even supposed to be skateboarding inside the house. Mom, Dad, are you going to let her get away with this? Yeah, she's still skateboarding and I told her to stop. She's always doing everything that she wants and she never listens to anyone. Mom, you should ground her for skateboarding in the kitchen. Dad, take away her bedtime story for tonight. Daisy, sweetheart, it's dinner time. Please put your skateboard away. It's time for a family meal now. Princess, why don't you put your skateboard away and you can skateboard some more after dinner. Let us all eat first. Can I have cake or ice cream if I have dinner now? I think it should be okay. Right, Mom? Daisy can have some ice cream after dinner? Mmm, sweets before bedtime does get you extra energetic. But if you come for dinner, then sure, honey. You can have a little bit of ice cream after dinner. But only if you eat your vegetables. Ew, I don't want no vegetables. Not coming. What? Mom, Dad, why are you being so nice? Aren't you going to take away her bedtime story or ground her or give her any punishment? She's skateboarding in the kitchen. I can't believe my sister gets away with everything. Does that happen in your family? Sometimes I feel like because Daisy is our little sister and she's the youngest, she's like mom and dad's favorite child. Well, I feel that way too. She gets away with everything. Do you guys have that problem? Does your sibling get away with everything? And our parents rarely ever punish her for anything. She can do anything that she wants. Does this happen in your household? If it does too, then at least let us know so we don't feel so alone by pressing that like button and subscribing so that you can watch more of our family. 
Daisy, dinner is not optional. You can't have dinner whenever you want it. Now I yes I can. Dinner's right now. Stop skateboarding. <laughs> no, you can't make me. And it's dangerous. You might run into mom. Na 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 na. I can't hear you. Come on, sweetheart, Daisy, please. It's time for dinner. Put your skateboard away, please. Okay, well, let me bring the broccolis over. Oh, no, mommy, watch out! <laughs> oh, no, sweetheart, are you okay? And the vegetables, the vegetables. Are there any left? Oh, my goodness, Daisy, are you okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt anywhere? <laughs> This was exactly what I was talking about. This is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Something like this was bound to happen. Mom, are you okay? And you shouldn't be coddling her like that. She should be in trouble for skateboarding and running into you. Oh no, are you okay? Is, is everyone okay? Or is anyone hurt? Oh my goodness, I knew this would happen. I called it. I knew she shouldn't be skateboarding around the house. I said it was dangerous. And look what happened. She skateboarded right into mom. And, well, I guess it's kind of a good thing. No vegetables, but oh my goodness. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Are you okay anywhere? It's okay. You can tell mommy if you're hurt. Are you okay, sweetie? <laughs> I'm okay, mommy. But I fell down my skateboard. I know, I know. But as long as you're not hurt anywhere. See, this is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. <laughs> Are you okay, mommy? Uh, uh, how unfair is that? Mom, stop coddling her. You should be scolding her right now. Well, thank goodness everyone is okay and no one is hurt. I'm just glad that we're all okay. What? None of our parents are mad at Daisy? Seriously, our little sister gets away with everything. Well, now do you know why we don't skateboard inside the house, Daisy? It can be very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Well, promise you won't skateboard inside the house again in the future? Yeah, Mommy. I promise I won't skateboard inside the house again in the future. You sure? Promise? Uh-huh. I promise I won't skateboard inside the house anymore, Mommy. I'm sorry. Okay, well that's my good girl. Now let's go over there and have some dinner. Ugh, so unfair. Yeah, this is so unfair. Okay, I better clean this up. Luckily, we still have some broccoli left. We still have some vegetables, even though a bunch are on the ground. I'm gonna have to wipe the floor. It is like the workload never ends in this house. <sighs> Come here, princess. Come to daddy. Daddy! I was skateboarding and then I actually bumped into mom and I fell right here and it hurts a little. <laughs> and then all the veggies are falling on the floor. Oh, we'll punish that skateboard for making you fall later. And after dinner, Daddy will give you an extra scoop of ice cream. Extra ice cream? Yay, Daddy! You're the bestest! Dad, you're not supposed to reward her for being bad. She just skateboarded inside the house and knocked into Mom and kind of ruined dinner. And you're going to give her an extra scoop of ice cream? How is she ever going to learn her lesson? Oh, I think your sister has learned her lesson. Right, honey? You told mommy you wouldn't skateboard inside the house anymore? Uh-huh. I won't skateboard inside the house anymore. I promise. I learned my lesson. Can I get another scoop of ice cream? I want three scoops of ice cream, please, please, please. Oh, this is madness. My little sister is so spoiled. You can have some desserts after you eat dinner and also eat your vegetables, which I managed to preserve some. I work really hard to work on your nutrition, girl, so I hope everybody eats their vegetables tonight. Ah, here you go. Okay, okay, let's all finally eat our dinner now. It's starting to get real cold. 
But mommy, I don't want to eat this. I want to eat my favorite noodles with with the um, soup, soup, soup stuff. I don't want to have rice tonight. I don't want to eat this. I'm not going to eat it. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen, so I did make you your favorite noodles just in case. Here you go, sweetie. her too much. You already made such an amazing dinner for us and she went and kind of ruined it by skateboarding into you. You didn't punish her and you even made her her very own noodle soup. Uh, you're just giving her everything she wants. You're spoiling her mom. Oh honey, you might not remember this but when you were younger you were like this too and it's just a phase. Eventually as you grow you mature and you grew out of it. She's still just a little child. When she grows older and she can understand more, we'll teach her more. But right now, we just have to be a little bit more patient. You were like this when you were younger too, sweetie. I remember being this boy when I was younger. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. I might as well just eat my food before it gets too cold. Mm -hmm. Daisy, you're not even allowed to skateboard inside the house. Can you please put your skateboard away right now? I was going to put my skateboard away right now anyways. I got bored of it. And I'm still not eating any breakfast. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'll eat breakfast myself. Mmm. Mmm, mm, good. Ugh, it's so frustrating how Daisy gets away with everything bad that she does. It's about time my parents start disciplining her because she's such a little brat. Maybe she should stay home. Mmm, mm, this is good. I'm back. Who wants to go swimming? Let's go to the beach today. It's a nice day to go swimming. Please, Mom. Uh, no, we are not going to the beach. Mm. Mm. With my eye like this, someone could see me. And it will be totally embarrassing. My eye is all pink and everything and ugly. Mm. Mm. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> big sister, your eyes look like two big gigantic strawberries. <laughs> Mom, are you just going to let her do that? <sighs> mm, these bacon are really crunchy. Mm, the bacon's really good this morning, Mom. If we go to the beach later, I'm going to tell my friends that my big sister has eyes like big strawberries. Oh, oh my god, can you like not? Can everybody stop talking about my eyes? I know they look bad. And mom, are you gonna just let her do whatever she wants? It's totally not fair. Daisy never gets punished for anything. Yeah, I agree. Mm, you're such a real brat. Mm, mm, mm. Don't worry girls, eventually she'll come and eat some breakfast. Mm, especially because the bacon is so good today. Please, you're being such a little brat this morning. I'm just practicing. <gasps> See, you think I got a lot better? Oh my god, no. I can't believe I got you that trumpet for your birthday. I totally regret it now. Can you please put that away and just come and eat already? Like I said to mommy and daddy, I'm not coming to eat because I'm only going to eat ice cream or cake or McDonald's for breakfast. I gotta practice my trumpet now. Ha <gasps> ta -da! How do you like that guys? We, we hate, hate it. it! Stop that already! Oh my god! Dad! Mom! Do something! Oh Daisy! Put that away right now! I'm bad at it right now because I haven't had time to practice. If I practice a bit more, I'll get better. If you don't put that trumpet away right now, it's gonna mysteriously disappear later. Yup, yeah. mm-hmm. <gasps> You're gonna throw my trumpet away? That's so mean! Fine, I'm gonna go hide it. Okay, maybe she'll come eat breakfast now. 
after she's done putting her trumpet away. Mm. We just have to be a bit more patient. Oh, we really shouldn't have let her done everything she wanted. She is a little spoiled. Mm. And bratty. Mom, another book. When are we going to be able to go to sleep? But this is one of my favorite books. You guys are going to really like it. Oh. One more story, Mommy. This is my favorite story. I love how he didn't have any friends because he was a short giraffe. But then later he grew tall and then he made lots of friends. Oh, all right. I guess one more book won't hurt. Once upon a time, there lived the shortest giraffe. His name was Eli. Unlike all of the other giraffes around him, he was very, very short. Poor Eli had no friends. No other giraffe would play with him. Your neck is too short. You're no giraffe. All the other giraffes made fun of Eli. So poor Eli had no friends. I feel bad for Eli, Mommy. At school, Miss Barbie says that we shouldn't make fun of others because they're different and everybody is beautiful. They should be friends with him even if he's short. Aw, yes, sweetie. Miss Barbie is right. Everyone is unique and beautiful in their own way and they should have been friends with Eli. Read the next part, Mommy. Read the part where he got taller. That's my favorite part where he got really tall and made friends. Okay, okay, we're getting to that part. I know that's your favorite part, sweetie. Poor Eli was so short that he had no friends, so he ate and ate and ate so that he would grow big and strong. Eli would eat and eat and eat and then sleep and sleep and sleep. One day, Eli went to school and all the other giraffes saw him. Wow, who is that tall giraffe? Is that Eli? asked the other giraffes. Because now Eli was no longer short. He had the tallest neck of all. Now Eli was the tallest giraffe. And everyone wanted to be his friends. I like this part. I'm glad he made friends, Mommy. My best friends are Lillian and Sarah. And we always play together during recess and lunchtime. <laughs> yes, I do hear from Miss Barbie that you, Lillian, and Sarah are inseparable, darling. Like the Three Musketeers. But now that the book is over, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, I'm trying to sleep, but I can't sleep because the light is on. Finally, is this story over? Can we all go to sleep now, please? Your sister's right, sweetie. It's time to go to sleep now that you've had many bedtime stories. And no one can sleep unless we turn off the light. To turn off the light? But I'm scared of the dark, mommy. And I'm not sleepy yet. Can we please, please, please with a strawberry cherry on top just have one more bedtime story, please, mommy? Wait, wait, wait. What? No, I object. She's had like five bedtime stories already. This is outrageous. Oh my gosh, mom. You are spoiling her so much. I know she's the youngest one, but she gets everything she wants all the time and I need my beauty sleep. Otherwise, I'm going to start breaking out. Can we, Can we please, please go to just sleep, sleep now? now? Hmm, your big sisters are right. You've had a lot of bedtime stories tonight. But mommy, can't we read this one just one more time? Because it's my favorite story. And I really like how Barbie married her prince. Please, mommy, just one more. Because I'm not sleepy yet. I can't sleep. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's drink your hot milk. That always helps to get you sleepy. My goodness, I am getting old. I brought you some hot milk before bed and I almost forgot to give you your milk bottle. Let's drink this so that you can hopefully get sleepy. Ugh, I can't believe this is taking forever. My youngest sister is so spoiled, she takes hours to get to bed every night. And we share the same room, so we can't sleep unless she sleeps. Mommy, can you please sing me a song as I drink my milk, please, Mommy? Oh, all right, let's see what I'll sing here. I wanted to escape for a while Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game Don't you think it can be so unfair sometimes how much mom spoils little sister? I don't remember mom reading us this many bedtime stories when we were kids. <sighs> oh, yeah, I don't remember getting this many stories when I was a kid. And mom sings to her every night too. That's why they say the youngest is always the favorite child because they always get so spoiled. Mommy, I drank all the milk and I really like that song. Can you sing me another one? And don't forget.
forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Good job, you finished your milk, but no, it is time to go to sleep now. If you don't sleep, your big sisters can't sleep either, sweetie. We have to go to sleep. Okay, but if I go to sleep, can we please, please, please go to the mall tomorrow, mommy? Yes, you can come with me to the mall because I have a doctor's appointment and my doctor's clinic is inside the mall so we can do some shopping after my doctor's appointment. But we can only go if you go to sleep now. Yay, okay. And, and tomorrow, can we please go to the toy store? Because I want to buy a big dollhouse and some new dolls. You can never have too many dolls. Oh no, I don't know about that. Every time we go to the toy store, you always beg for a new doll or a dollhouse and you have a lot of dolls. But you can never have too many dolls, mommy. Okay, well we'll see tomorrow if you go to sleep. Hey honey, do you need help? You've been putting Daisy to sleep for hours now. I figure you could use a hand. Uh, I'm guessing the girls are still not asleep yet? Dad, Mom has read her like five bedtime stories, but she just won't go to sleep. Mom also sang to her and gave her a bottle of milk to drink. It's been hours and she just won't sleep. The girls are right. Daisy is being very fussy tonight. I've read her like four or five bedtime stories, sang her a song, given her hot milk to drink, but she's still not sleepy. And I think it's because we gave her a bit too much sugar before bed. Daddy, maybe I don't have to sleep anymore because I'm not sleepy. Or maybe you can help me if you sing me a song. Daddy, can you please sing me a bedtime song? What? Seriously? Another bedtime song? How many songs does mom and dad have to sing to you before you go to sleep? I can't believe how spoiled my little sister is. Oh my, okay, well let me see if I can give this a try. Okay, pumpkin, come to daddy here and I will sing you a song. Oh, please do, because I am exhausted. I am out of ideas. I don't know how we're going to get her to go to sleep. I might be able to go to sleep if you sing me my favorite bedtime song, Daddy. Hmm. Oh, all right. Okay. I'll sing you a bedtime song. Wish that I could find the words to describe you now. <sighs> Your dad has As I'm lying voice. next to you. And the world goes I like quiet sing, Daddy. Wish that I could make you see How you fit me perfectly And Oh, every time I hear your dad sing It's like I fall in love with him all over again <sighs> The one who Okay, that's it for tonight. It's time to go to bed now, sweetheart. Time to sleep. No, wait, 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 mommy. You sing too. Sing with daddy together. <sighs> now you want both mom and dad to sing to you? Is there no end to this nightmare? Mom, dad, you guys need to stop spoiling her. Just because she's the baby of the house, she always gets whatever she asks for. It's so unfair. I could stay forever We lying in my arms I didn't think that I would find that someone So just stay for a little while It's okay It just took some time Now I just hope that you stay for a little while We make a good team, honey. We haven't sang that song for a while. I think since our wedding. Oh yeah, our wedding day! We sang this song in front of all of our friends. It was so beautiful. We should sing together more sometimes. Now it's time for bed. So let's tuck you in. Yep, we'll tuck you in with this blanket here. Okay honey, you really need to go to sleep now so that your big sisters can sleep too. Oh my gosh, yes, please! Okay, but can we please turn on the light light? I'm scared of the dark. Oh honey, why are you scared of the dark? Your sisters are just right there. But okay, here is your nightlight and you can have it on for tonight. But honey, there's nothing to be scared of because your sisters are going to be here with you. Okay, well I'll just leave the nightlight right here. I'll just put it in the center of the room so that it'll keep the room nice and bright for everyone. Wait, what? No! Why do you need a nightlight? We are literally right here. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. 
Mom, how am I gonna sleep with the light on? I've already been trying to sleep for the past couple of hours. This is outrageous. Oh, I'm sorry, girls, but your little sister is being very fuzzy tonight. Don't worry, she'll fall asleep any minute now, and then you can turn off the night light when she's asleep. Mom, this is so unfair. Girls, please, please. There's no other way. We have to try to get your sister to go to sleep. We'll turn off the night light later when she's asleep. Thank you, Mommy. But, but even though there's a night light, I still get scared when it's too quiet. So can we also turn on my favorite sleepy bedtime music song? Please, Mommy. Please, Daddy. Oh, how do I say no to that cute face? Okay, Princess. We can turn on some music just for tonight so that you can go to sleep. There you go, your favorite song. This song will be on repeat all night. It just keeps getting worse. I keep thinking it's gonna get better, but no, it just keeps getting worse. Now there's gonna be music playing all night. How are we going to sleep, Dad? Up above the world so Ugh. It's like my parents can't say no to my little sister because she's so cute. It's like she's the favorite or something because she's the youngest. Uh, why was I born the middle child? Why couldn't I have been the youngest? I want to be the baby. So unfair. No fear. Girls, girls, now, now, there's no favoritism. We love all of you girls the same. It's just that your sister is still young, so we have to cater to her a little bit more. Besides, she'll be asleep soon, and then you can turn off the music. Sweet dreams, princess. Mwah. Oh, my little girl. Mwah. Sweet dreams, don't let the bed bugs bite. But your sisters are here, so you have nothing to be scared of. Good night, Mommy. I hope you have the sweetest dreams and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Good night, Princess. If you go to sleep now, you'll be able to wake up early, fresh and ready to go to the mall with your Mommy and I. And the toy store. Mwah. Yes, yes, we can go to the toy store, Mwah. but only if you sleep. Okay, Daddy. Good night. Good night, Big Sisters. Good night, Crystal Star. Good night, Uptown Girl. Night. <sighs> finally, we can finally go to sleep. Thank you for being so patient, girls. Good night, dears. <sighs> Speaking of which, I think it's time we go get ready for bed, too. <sighs> <sighs> You're right. It's time to go to bed. I'm exhausted. And I have to wake up tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. Okay, honey. Let's go to bed. Good night, girls. Night girl, sweet dreams. Nighty night. I can't sleep. Crystal Star? Crystal Star? Uptown girl? Uptown girl? Big sisters? Are you guys asleep? Big sisters? Are you guys asleep? Uh, clearly not. What's wrong now? Daisy, what's wrong? You have to go to sleep. I want to, but I can't sleep. Can you please read me a bedtime story? Please, pretty please, big sister, with a strawberry cherry banana pie on top? Oh, she's giving us the puppy face. Oh, alright, looks like we have no choice. We can't sleep unless Daisy sleeps. Okay, one more bedtime story and then you have to promise you're going to go to sleep, okay? Our mom read you this book earlier, so I'm just gonna read it to you again. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a beautiful princess. Her name was Ginger and she has beautiful long hair. Like Rapunzel from Tangle, because I love Rapunzel's hair. Yes, yes, just like Rapunzel. Was she also locked up in a castle too? Daisy, you know this story. You've heard it a million times. <sighs> it's always like this. Every night before bed, my little sister gets everything she wants and mom and dad always spoils her because she's the favorite, because she's the baby of the house. But you know what? We spoil her too because we're her big sisters and we love her. Because just look at that cute puppy face whenever she pouts, Uptown Girl and I will give in and give her whatever she wants because she's our baby sister. 
So like, even if sometimes we feel it's unfair, what can we do? We love our baby sister so much. Big sisters, can you please sing me a bedtime song? Oh, alright. You find happiness out there. Uh, I think I'm finally getting sleepy now. <sighs> it's not like she's our favorite or anything, but mm, mm. she was our youngest, so we did let her slide with a lot of poor bad behaviors. And now we're really paying for it. Mm. Oh, look, she's back. Look what I can do. I learned a new trick. Ta -da! In the next gymnastics class, I'm going to show my teacher this new trick. Look, Mommy. Look, Daddy. Oh, my gosh, sweetheart. Oh, dear. Why are you crying, honey? Mom, Mom, are you looking at my new trick? Dad, are you watching? Mommy, look! Look what I can do! See? Uh, is anyone even looking? <laughs> you used to look at all of my tricks before little sister came along, and now you don't anymore. Oh no, I know what that cry is about. Are you hungry? Oh dear, come here sweetie. Oh, you are hungry, aren't you? Just look at the way you're looking at the bottle. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. Mommy didn't forget about you. Daddy was supposed to feed you this morning. Honey, why didn't you feed the baby while I was making breakfast? See, you didn't even feed her any of the milk in the bottle. And now she's hungry. Oh, there, there, there. Um, um, I, 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 I did. Um, I fed her yogurt this morning. I thought that would be enough. Uh, sorry, I, I totally forgot about the bottle of milk. Um, could you feed the baby for me, please? Uh, fine, let me feed the baby since you're lucky that I already finished eating my breakfast. Thanks, dear. You are a lifesaver. Uh, sorry about forgetting to feed her milk this morning. Oh, I got a few more bacons to eat. I can't believe Dad, I forgot to give you milk this morning. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Oh, just look at that. She is just drinking it all down. Oh, my poor baby. You must have been so hungry. Oh, there, there, eat up. <sighs> I know that I can't spin anymore. Is anybody even looking? Hello? Oh, wow, the bottle is empty already. <gasps> you drank the whole thing. Oh, aren't you a lot happier now, my baby girl? And hopefully now that you're fully fed, you'll be able to go to sleep for the entire plane ride. That would make my life so much easier too. Oh, 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 oh no, what's wrong, what's wrong? Oh, does somebody need a burpee? There, there. There we go. <laughs> you drank your milk up so fast that you got a little gassy. You must be feeling so much better now. <laughs> and you'll probably stay up for just a little bit longer before you go back to sleep. Right, my sweetheart? <laughs> Mom, you're not looking at me. Uh, all you pay attention to now is the new baby. Daisy, I don't want to have to keep repeating myself. You're supposed to be sitting at the breakfast table eating with your big sisters. I made you bacon and eggs for breakfast this morning, and I want you to go there and eat it, please. No, 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 no. It's a gazillion, gazillion, million no's. I want ice cream or cake or McDonald's. Ah! Oh, I just fell down there. No, I'm not coming for breakfast. Oh my god, what are we going to do with that girl? She is getting out of hand. She hasn't been listening to anything her dad and I have been telling her to do all week. Oh jeez. Looks like everyone has done their breakfast. Uh, I wouldn't say everyone has done their breakfast. Yeah, dad, look. Daisy's plate is still full. We're done eating though. But look, there's still food, bacon and eggs on Daisy's plate. She's the only one that hasn't even eaten. And you know what? It's not even for today's breakfast. 
She literally does this for almost every meal. Yeah, she refuses to eat anything unless it's something she wants to eat. She's so bratty. I think it's time that you do something about it, Dad. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Daisy, come here and eat your breakfast, please. No, I'm not coming. But look, I got my hula hoop. Oh my god, Daisy. My little sister is out of control and my parents are not doing anything about it. You really have to start doing something about it, Mom, Dad. You know what happened yesterday? I caught Daisy in the bathroom and she almost killed all of the fish. Here's what happened. Okay, your bath is ready here, miss. <gasps> there is a lot of bubbles tonight. Are they nice and fluffy? Yes, they're very nice and fluffy tonight. See? And they're perfect for you to jump right in. Come on, jump right into the bubble bath here, Daisy, please. Okay, I'm coming. One more step. Ha! <laughs> Some shampoo. Let's wash your hair here. It's been through a lot today. And we'll use a lot of shampoo. Daisy, if you don't want me to get shampoo in your eye, please hold still. Oh, it tickles! Oh, no, I don't like it when people touch my hair. Well, you have to wash your hair. Oh goodness, it is so messy and dirty. Uh, I'm gonna get in my eye! It's not gonna get in your eye. Just hold still, please, and it won't. Uh, are you done, Mom? <laughs> it's taking too long. Okay, okay, I'm almost done. Hold still. Going. Oh my gosh, Daisy! Oh goodness, she hid in the bubble bath. Daisy, come out here, please. Oh, oh! <laughs> Daisy, you gave me a fright there just now. And just look, my shirt is all wet now. Oh, giving Daisy a bath is never easy. Bedtime is literally a struggle every night. Good mommy, I rinsed off all the soap all by myself from going into the water. See? Uh -oh. oh my god, well at least something good actually came from that. But Daisy, please do not do that again, young lady. Now can you just please give yourself a bath peacefully? Look mom, what I can do. When I wave my arms and go like push it gives it splashes. Look! Oh gosh. Oh no, Daisy, you're getting water everywhere. Oh, thank goodness the bath towel absorbs all of the water. Mom! Daisy, please stop splashing. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all this water. <laughs> Daisy, young lady, no splashing, okay. please. You're going to get the whole bathroom completely covered in water. Uh, it's more fun when I can splash water. Well, it's not fun cleaning it up, so please don't splash any more water. Mom, the baby's crying. Oh goodness, what now? Um, sweetheart, can you please try to soothe your baby sister? I'm just in the middle of giving Daisy a bath right now. But mom, I've already tried my best. I changed her diaper and she's still crying. Crystal Star tried to give her some food, but she won't eat anything. Oh, she's crying even louder now, mom. We need your help. Oh my molly golly, having four kids is not easy. All right, all right, I will go check on your newborn baby sister, but could you please stay here to watch over Daisy? You know how Daisy is. If we leave her in here by herself, she's going to cause some sort of trouble. Uh, do I have to? Why don't I go call Crystal Star? Uh, I'll call Crystal Star. Why don't you ask Crystal Star to help Daisy? Crystal Star! Oh, I seriously need a vacation right now. Good thing that our flight is tomorrow. Uptown girl, please, we don't have the time for this. I need you to stay here and watch over your little sister Daisy for just a little bit so that I can tend to your newborn baby sister. Oh my god, seriously, why me? Oh, I regret coming in here and asking for mom now. Oh mom, seriously, do I really have to, please? No. Darling, we don't have much time. We need to all get ready for bed. What time is it? Oh my goodness, look at the time. We have a flight to catch tomorrow morning, so I don't have the time to argue back and forth right now. Uptown girl, please help me watch over your little sister, Daisy. 
isn't she like two now or something? I think she's old enough to like take a bath by herself now. I don't think she needs me. She'll be fine on her own. Oh, absolutely not. You know how your little sister is. If we take our eye off of her for just a minute, she's gonna be out there causing trouble. Just watch her for a few minutes. I'm going to go out there and check on your newborn baby sister. Maybe she's hungry or something, and I'll be right back. I promise. Oh my gosh, watching over Daisy is a nightmare because she does cause a lot of problems and trouble. Hey, I can hear you from here. I don't cause any trouble, I'm a good girl. Please, sweetheart, I really need your help. Just watch over your little sister for a little bit for me while I go check on your newborn baby sister. Okay, okay, I'll watch over Daisy. Don't worry. Fine, 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 I'll do it. I just hope she won't cause any trouble this time. Thanks, sweetie. Daisy, no splashing and please go easy on your big sister. Don't cause her any trouble. And if Daisy doesn't listen to you, then you let me know, okay? Alright, Uptown Girl, thank you so much for watching over Daisy. I will go check on the newborn baby now. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. Alright, I'll just sit here and watch you. Go take your bath. <laughs> Look what I can do! I can splash even bigger with two arms! Daisy, mom said no splashing. Come here, I'll just give you a quick wash and get you out of this bath. Ah, you're getting soap in my eye! Soap in my eye! <laughs> Shh. Oh my gosh, Daisy, be quiet please. I don't want to get in trouble. Mom's going to come in and think I did something to you. Okay, fine, fine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> really? Like, can I splash water? <laughs> like this? This is crazy. You are always up to no good. Hey, I need more water. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you got water everywhere. Oh, there's puddles and puddles of water all over the floor. Daisy, this is not what I meant when I said you could do whatever you want. Especially now that there's water all over the floor. Oh gosh, now I'm going to be the one having to clean this all up. <laughs> it's so much fun. No, it's not. If you keep doing this, I'm going to call mom in here and tell her that you're splashing. <gasps> okay, okay, don't. I'll stop. Oh, why, you better look at the mess that you made. Look at the bathroom floor. It's covered in puddles of water that I now have to clean up. Oh, Daisy. And I can't believe you spat out water everywhere even after Mom said not to splash. Oh, yeah, but I didn't splash, though. I sprayed water with my mouth. That's not splashing. Uh... Oh, my goodness. You little smarty pants. You found a loophole. Okay, it's the same thing anyways. It means no getting the bathroom floor completely soaked with water. Oh, I didn't know it wasn't the same thing. I'm only two. Well, now that I know, I'll stop. But, but, but don't tell mom, okay? I'm sorry. Don't tell mommy. Oh, fine. Just stop spraying water, splashing water, or pretty much anything that gets the floor wet. I'm going to go get a mop and clean this up then. Yay! You're the bestest big sister ever, Uptown Girl! <sighs> well, make sure you wait right here, don't go anywhere, and please don't cause any more trouble. I'll be right back with a mop. <laughs> Looks like I'm all by myself in this big washroom. Ha! Ha ha! Ta da! Uh, maybe I can just splash just a little bit. <laughs> Fun when it's by myself. 
I wish I had more friends in here, Mr. Ducky. Do you agree? <laughs> what? Should I bring in Nemo and the rest of the game? Then I'll have more fun because I'll have friends. That's a great idea. Yeah, you're right. And then we can all take a bath together. You need a bath too. Okay, let me go get Nemo. <laughs> I'm just gonna go grab my friends from the aquarium. <laughs> and then we can all take a bath together. Wait right here, okay, Mr. Ducky? I'll be right back with Nemo. <laughs> Careful not to fall because it's slippery. <laughs> running back and forth a lot. What are you doing? Oh, hi, big sister. I just brought all the fish in. I'm giving them a bubble bath. Oh my god, what? Oh, what are all of our fish doing in the bathroom? Daisy, you can't give fish a bubble bath. Oh gosh. Why? They're probably dirty from swimming around all day. Oh my goodness, I am so glad that I follow my intuition and I came in here to check on my little sister. Okay, Nemo, you're the first to go in. Oh my gosh, no, 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 Daisy, no. You can't throw Nemo in the bubble bath water or he'll die. Fish cannot go into a bubble bath. Really? Why? Isn't he dirty? Should we give him a bath to make him nice and clean? Oh my gosh, no, no, Daisy. Fish cannot be put into bubble bath water or they'll die. <gasps> it means if I put Nemo into the bathtub that he'll die? I don't want him to die! I almost killed Nemo! Oh my god, yeah, that was really a close one. Good thing I came in here and check up on you just in the nick of time. And I can't believe you got our entire aquarium in the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Okay, Daisy, why don't we collect all of our fish friend and put them back into the big fish tank. They can stay clean in their fish tank all by themselves, plus they swim around in water all day so that keeps them nice and clean. And the fish tank is their home, and we shouldn't be taking the fish out of their home. But it's a good thing that I hadn't put Nemo in the bath water, otherwise he would have died and I would have been really sad because Nemo and I are very close friends. That would have been a big mistake. 
Yes, so why don't we take all of our fish friends and put them back into the big fish tank where they can live and be happy. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness, all of our fish are here. I bet our fish tank is completely empty. How did you even manage this? Okay, let's go put these back one by one. I'm sure they're terrified and super stressed right now and they probably miss home. Oh, look at all of these fish. It wasn't easy. I carried them myself one by one. Okay, let's take them back home. Oh, I'm back. I finally found the mop. Oh, now you're back. Uptown girl, you're back. Yeah, I couldn't find the mop anywhere, so it took me a while. Oh my god, why are all of our fish in the bathroom? I took them from our aquarium fish tank because I wanted to give the fish a bubble bath. Oh my god, Daisy, you did what now? Yeah, weren't you supposed to be watching over Daisy? Oh, I saw her running back and forth and I was like, what is she doing? So I came in here to check on her right before she was about to throw Nemo into the bubble bath. I came here in the nick of time to save all of our fish. Oh my gosh, I only stepped out for just like a little bit. Look at the floor. It's full of puddles everywhere because she just kept splashing and spitting water out. Oh, and then I leave for just a couple of minutes and I come back to this. Oh, Daisy. And this is exactly why mom always tells us to keep an eye on Daisy. She'll always find a way to cause some sort of trouble. See, you should have stayed here and watched her. I don't know. How was I supposed to know? I didn't think she'd be able to do anything bad in just a few minutes. But I guess I have to be more careful in the future because clearly she can. Ugh, whatever. Jeez, just like be more careful next time, will you? You're lucky that this time I was here to save you. Otherwise, all of our fish would have been dead. Come on, Daisy. Let's put all the fish back into the fish tank. Okay. And that was how I came to save the day. What? That really happened? Yeah, I saw it too. You gotta start doing something about Daisy's behavior, Dad. Yeah, you can't let her get away with everything. Look what I can do now. I can do the hula hoop now. Daisy, you need to eat your breakfast before we head to the airport. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. Daisy? I learned how to do the hula hoop at school and I'm the best in my class. I can hula hoop for a long time. My teacher says I'm really good. Who wants to learn how to hula hoop? I can teach you if you want. That's enough, young lady. Put that away, please. Come here. No! Come on, sweetheart. It's time for breakfast. We have to eat or you're going to be hungry heading to the airport. I don't want to eat no eggs or bacon, though. No. I want an ice cream. Well, ice cream is not acceptable for breakfast, so you're going to eat your breakfast right now, no questions. This is not a negotiation. Come here, young lady. Finally, it's about time. Come on, little sister. Why do you always have to make such a big fuss of every meal? Just eat already. I eat what I wanna. I get to do what I wanna. No, you don't. You have to listen to mom and dad and us. Eat your breakfast or you're going to be in big trouble. Right, mom? Right, dad? I wanna eat bacon. I wanna eat sausage. And I don't like my eggs this way. I want scramble eggs. Daisy, we have to head to the airport, so I'm not making you a new breakfast. But I don't want to eat bacon or eggs like this. Come on, Daisy. If you give it a try, maybe you'll like it. Hmm? Here, let me feed you. Ah. No. No, one ring. Good girl. See, doesn't it taste delicious? If you try a bite, then you might like it. Now, how about another bite, okay? I'll help feed you here. I just swallowed it, but I didn't like it. No more, Dad. Oh, come on. Just another spoonful. You just got to eat a few more bites, okay? Here, let me get it for you. Say, ah. No. I said I don't want to eat this. Uh, no. I said no. You're not listening to me. I... Say no! <laughs> Daisy, 
Lucy, I can't believe you just did that. Ugh. Oh my god. Did you just spit out all of your food on dad's face? Daisy, oh my god. <laughs> Daddy, your face looks so funny. Sorry, that, that was an accident. I got kind of mad. Oh, gross. Bacon bits all over my face. Oh, now it's so oily. Daisy, that is not acceptable, young lady. I can't believe you just did that. Oh, bacon all over my face. Daisy, even if you didn't want to eat, it's not right to be spitting on anyone's face. I can't believe you spat on your dad's face. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It was an accident, Mommy. Yeah, right. It was not an accident. You totally did that on purpose. Don't let her get away with this, Dad. Do something about it. Oh, first, gotta get the grease off my face. Oh, bacon is super oily. Now my face feels really oily. I'm gonna have to go wash my face again. I might even have to wash my hair again because there's oil in my hair now, too. Huh? It's so unfair how she gets away with all this and never gets punished for anything. Oh my god, Mom! Dad, I can't believe you're not gonna do anything about it. Punish her or something. Honey, I think the girls are right. I think it's time we give Daisy her first time out. She needs to learn her lesson. Uh-oh. A time out? What's that? Is it fun? What, am I gonna like it? I want a time out. She hasn't been listening to us and she's been naughtier and naughtier every day. I think the girls are right. It's time that we start disciplining Daisy already. Yeah, now we're talking. She should definitely get time out. And maybe you should ground her too. Yeah, take all her toys away and her iPad too. Yeah, give her a really long time out. You're right, you're right. The girls are right too. You know, we have let it get out of hand and gone too far. It's time that Daisy learns her lesson and learn how to behave. Come here, sweetheart. It's time for a time out. You're going to stand in the corner, face the wall, no talking, and you're going to stand there for five minutes. <gasps> that doesn't sound fun! No! <laughs> now, every time you do something bad in the future, you're going to be getting a time out. Okay, let's go! Finally, this I gotta see. There's no news crying because it's not going to change anything. Now, you're going to stand there for five minutes. Turn around, please. Face the wall. Don't look at me. Oh, don't give me that puppy face. It's not going to work on me. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you tell her. Don't let her cute puppy face suck you in. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that face. She's just so cute. No, no, I have to be strong. I have to resist. Yeah, Dad, be strong. Don't give in. You can do it. Yeah, don't fall for her puppy look face. <laughs> oh man, this is hard. Nope, nope, I have to resist. I can't fall for that puppy face. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. I am keeping my eye on the timer. It's not time yet. I know this is hard, but she has to stand there for a full five minutes. It's her first time out and her first time getting a punishment. I know it's not going to be easy. Looking at a wall is so boring. <laughs> Why is five minutes so long? <laughs> I hate time outs. <laughs> Ooh, what a wonderful day today is Daisy's first time getting a punishment. Anyways, I'm going to go change. Bye! Ah, it's a good day. Ah, karma. Anyways, thanks for breakfast, Mom, but I better get back to my room and finish packing. I would have finished packing yesterday if I didn't have to help Daisy clean out the closet that she made a mess of. Oh, last night we spent hours and hours just cleaning up the closet. Oh, it happened like this. I'll see if mom has a jacket that I can borrow. Mom, I'm just gonna go through your closet for a little bit, okay? I realize I don't have any scarf, so I'm gonna borrow a scarf from you for our upcoming family trip. 
can't believe I lost all my scarves. Huh? What? What's going on here? Why is there a trail? It's like footprints all the way towards mom's closet. That's super weird. I guess I should follow it. Where do these footprints lead to? Hmm. That's very odd. Okay, and it ends here. <gasps> Aren't these clothes supposed to be like washed? Why are they so dirty? What's going on? What are these brown stains? Oh, no. oh my goodness, at this point, do I really seriously even want to know? <sighs> well, I guess I better go check it out and investigate because this is sus. Uh -oh. What's going on here? Hey! <gasps> Daisy? What are you doing in here? Pretend you didn't see me. I'm hiding from mom because she wants to give me another bag. Oh my god, Daisy, you are such a little troublemaker. How did you get so dirty so fast? You are literally covered in mud and dirt. I don't know. I just went outside to play in the sandbox for a little bit. Don't tell mom I'm in here. She wants to give me another bag. Yeah, no kidding. You definitely need another bath. And look at the mess that you've made now in mom's closet. Shh! Just pretend that you didn't see me. You don't know where I am. If mom asks, um, tell mom I ran off to Alaska. Yeah, like that's gonna fly. Do you even know where Alaska is? I do so. I'm not a little girl anymore. Anyways, if mom asks, say that I no longer live here and I've moved out. Bye! Oh gosh, Daisy! I should have known. My little sister is always up to trouble somehow. Daisy, please come out from there. Daisy! Seriously, this is ridiculous, Daisy. You can't hide in there forever. Come out! Daisy! Hey! You're gonna get me caught! Go away! This is where I live now! Daisy, sooner or later, you're gonna have to come out of mom's closet. And what is this? Ah! Hey, stop! Why is your face covered in dirt? Did you roll around in the mud or something? Jeez, Daisy. Ah! Stop! I even roll in the mud. I played in the sandbox and had some cake. Anyways, bye! And if mom asks, say I've moved to Alaska. Daisy, how are you supposed to live in mom's closet? There's no food, there's no washroom, there's nothing to drink. You're gonna get hungry and thirsty. You need food or else you die. Come on, Daisy, come out already. No, never, I'm never coming out. I live here now and I no longer need food or anything to drink anymore. Oh my gosh, you're so stubborn. Are you sure you don't want to come out? I can make you your favorite tuna sandwich. And we have some oranges. <gasps> my favorite tuna sandwich? No, I'm still not coming out. You can't make me. I'm going to cover myself up with mom's clothes and live here forever because I'm never going to take a bath again. Don't tell mom. I'm not here. You didn't see me. Daisy. Jeez, what do we do with you, little sister? Whoops, can't say I didn't try. If you don't want to come out, then I guess you're just going to live in mom's closet from now on. That means no more toys, no more Christmas presents. <gasps> what? I'm still not coming out. Alright, I guess you don't need to eat any of your favorite food anymore. No more theme parks. Okay, enjoy living in mom's closet. Honestly, my little sister is so stubborn whenever she gets into this mindset of hers, there's no convincing her anyway, so I'll just let her be. Uh -oh. Alright, I guess if you won't come out, I'm just gonna be on my way now. Ugh, what a mess. Jeez, Daisy. My instincts tell me that it's not gonna be hard for mom to figure out where you went. Especially because you left a huge trail. Alright, I'm here to look for a scarf. There's where mom keeps her scarves. Mm, which one should I take with me? I wish I could take them both, but I'm pretty sure mom's not gonna let me borrow two. Okay, this one is super warm and I do like how it fits. I also like the fabric and the design is really cute with the snowflakes, but I don't know. It's not gonna really match any of my outfits. 
Okay, maybe the pink, because my jacket is pink. Ooh, this one is super warm. Maybe a little bit too warm, since my jacket is already pretty warm. I do really like the color and the fabric, but I don't know. I'm getting hot wearing this right now. Maybe I should pick something less warm, because my jacket is already a fur jacket, and I don't want to be hot. Oh, there's one more. How about this one? This one looks a lot thinner, so let's give it a try. Oh, I think this might work. This is perfect. It doesn't make me too hot, and it still keeps me warm. And plus, it's super stylish. Okay, I guess I'll borrow this from mom for our upcoming family vacation. If it were up to me, I would have borrowed all three because they're all so cute. But put these back since I'm only taking this one. Alright, Daisy, I'm leaving. Are you sure you don't want to come out? I can make you your favorite tuna sandwich. Are you sure? Stop trying to get me to come out. It's not going to work. I live here now. You never saw me, okay? Okay, if you say so. I guess now since you live in mom's closet, you're not going to need any of your toys anymore. Uh -oh. I'll just tell her to give it to the newborn baby. Oh, no. Hey! Hmm, fine. I'll need no toys anymore either then. Oh my god, my sister is so stubborn. I guess I can't get her to come out of the closet. This is going to be mom's problem later, not mine. All right, well, I'm out of here. See ya. Have fun. Ah, it's so boring. There's nothing to do in here. Ah, why did I bring any of my toys? I don't want the newborn baby to get any of my toys. Mm, there's nothing to do. It's so boring. Is anybody looking for me? Should I just come out? But then if I come out, Mom is going to make me take another bath. No, I'm never taking another bath again. I'm living in Mom's closet forever. Mm -hmm. ah, it's so boring. There's nothing to play with. Hello, is there anything in here? I think my head's too big. I'm a super spy. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, and then now you don't. One sheep, two sheep. 692 sheep. Oh, my stomach is growling. Uh, stop making sounds, stomach. You already ate dinner earlier. I kind of want a snack now, though. I hear someone coming. Is it mom? I gotta hide. Mom, I'm gonna go in your closet for just a little bit. Since Crystal Star borrowed a scarf from you, I'm just going to borrow a jacket from you. I don't have any jackets to wear for our trip, so I'm going to borrow one of yours. Mom has a lot of nice clothes. She must have a nice jacket that I can borrow. Oh my goodness, what is all of this dirt on the floor? Usually Mom's closet is super clean. Why is it so dirty today? <gasps> Ew, gross! I stepped on something. Gross, my foot is so dirty now. I'm gonna have to go wash it later. Ooh, has mom not been washing her clothes or something? Oh my gosh, why are some of the stuff in here so gross looking? Oh my goodness, I hope the jackets are clean because if they're dirty, then how am I supposed to borrow them? Ooh. Okay, what can I borrow? Hmm, there's so many options to choose from. Let's rotate mom's closet so we can see what jackets are available for me to pick from here. Mom's closet is so cool. Hmm, I don't see anything black. I want a black jacket. Ooh, I'm a ghost! Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> that is so funny! You fell on your bum bum! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I got so scared. 
scared I fell. Oh, that was such a hard fall too. Oh, gross. And on this floor? <laughs> That's really funny. But I'm sorry that I made you fall, the uptown girl. Oh, oh Daisy. That's a little joke. Don't be mad. And don't tell mom I'm here. I'm hiding right now. Oh, I really fell on my butt hard. Ow. So sore. <sighs> that was not funny, Daisy. You could have given me a heart attack. And besides, what are you even doing in mom's closet? I live here now. Mom wants to get me a bath again. And I don't want to take a bath, so I ran away. Oh my god, Daisy. You are always so much trouble. I don't think running away counts when you're hiding in a closet. Well, I was really going to run away, but then, but then it's so dark outside, so I got scared, so now I live in mom's closet. You didn't see me. Well, I guess that explains why mom's closet is a huge mess right now. Just look at all this dirt on the floor. Like, what did you do? Why is there so much sand? Uh oh. Oh, jeez, Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Daisy, please come down from there. This is ridiculous. Mom's gonna find you sooner or later. You can't live in a closet. I can too. I'm gonna stay here forever and then I'll never have to take another bath again. Daisy, don't be ridiculous. Come down from there right now, please. Still firm on staying inside Mom's closet, huh? Well, you're lucky because I brought you something. I got you your favorite tuna sandwiches, some orange slices, and here's some kiwi juice. <gasps> Thanks, Crystal Star! You're the bestest! I was getting kind of hungry. Yeah, well, I thought I would bring you some food so that you won't get hungry and stay up all night bothering us later. What? What? Crystal Star, you knew she was in here the whole time and you didn't like to say anything? Why didn't you try to get her out? It's ridiculous that she's in the closet. Okay, you be my guest, okay? If you think you can get her out, then you try. You know how stubborn Daisy can get when she's up to mischief. I can't convince her to come out. You can try if you want. I'm never coming out. You cannot make me come out. I live here now. Hmm, hmm. See what I mean? Uh, yeah, I guess so, you're right. Uh -oh. You know, when she gets into this mood of hers, it's pretty much impossible to convince her otherwise. I can't use my hands to eat. Can you please feed me, Crystal Star? I can't believe this, the shenanigans that my little sister gets up to. Now we have to feed you too. Uh, it's so hard to resist her though because she's just so cute. But she's always up to no good. Uptown girl, hold the plate for me for a bit so that I can give Daisy something to drink. Kiwi, kiwi juice please. I'm so thirsty. That's what happens when you live in a closet. Here Daisy. A higher, higher, it's too low. I'd be so thirsty. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> More. <laughs> Wow, you're drinking a lot. Is it that good? Let's see. It is pretty good. Tuna, tuna, sandwich now, sandwich now, please. You really make the best tuna sandwiches. Here, Daisy, here's the other half. Have some more. Finish it all, please. Higher. Hungry. Mm. Chew slowly. Don't choke now. Honestly, sometimes I think mom and dad spoils her a little too much. But when I think about it, we also spoil Daisy as well. Look what we're doing now. We're letting her do whatever she wants and we're even feeding her. Is it sour? I don't like sour. Nah, it should be sweet. Mm, okay, if it's sweet. I don't like sour. Mmm, it's sour! What? It's not sour. I had some earlier. It's pretty sweet, the one I had. Mmm, it's so sweet! Are you sure? The one I ate just now was so sour, and you know I don't like sour oranges. I like sweet. Here, let me get you.
you another piece. Maybe that one was a one-off. Here, this one is sweet, I'm sure. Are you sure? You promise? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is sweet. I like this one. I can't believe even in this situation you're a picky eater. Our little sister is a super picky eater. She's always causing trouble during dinner time. Mom, mom, mom. Thirsty, thirsty. More kiwi juice, please. Crystal star. I'm thirsty. Okay, okay, give me a minute. Oh, my arms are so tired having to reach up there. <laughs> Wow, you must have been super thirsty, or I made this really well. Let me try. Oh, that is pretty good. Daisy, there's still some left. Do you want more? No, thank you. I'm full now. Now I'm gonna go back to living in mom's closet. Uptown girl, crystal star, are you girls in here? What the jibbers? Why is the floor so dirty? Girls, what's going on here? <gasps> oh no, mom's here! Oh, better hide! Oh my god, what is going on here? There's sand all over the floor. It is filthy in my closet now. Girls, what's going on here? What are you doing in here? Oh, mom! Um, nothing, nothing. I was just gonna borrow a jacket. And I didn't bring in the sand. <gasps> mom! Um, nothing. We're not doing anything in here that's suspicious at all. <laughs> right. My mother intuition tells me that something is going on here. Come on, girls. Fess up. What's going on? <gasps> nothing. Nothing. We're just hanging out in your closet. <sighs> Somehow, something tells me this isn't nothing. See, when you have four kids, it's never a dull moment. Anyways, girls, have you seen your little sister Daisy? She needs to take a bath, but I've been looking everywhere. I can't seem to find her anywhere. Nope, haven't seen Daisy. No idea where she is. Not like she's over there somewhere. You know, like right over there somewhere here. Oh, have you been looking for Daisy? Why, it's not like she might be over there somewhere. You know, somewhere up there. You know, over to my left there. <laughs> what? Is this a riddle or something? Come on, girl. Seriously, it's getting late. I need to give Daisy a bath. Have you seen your little sister anywhere? Um, well... <coughs> <coughs> over... <coughs> oh my gosh, girls. Aren't we getting too old for this? <sighs> Are we playing a riddle together right now at night? Okay, what is it? What are you girls looking at? What's over there? Do I even want to know? Oh my gosh, look how dirty the floor is! We are gonna have to vacuum and clean up my closet before we go on our trip. Okay, what's over here? What do you girls want me to find in here? Hi! Oh, oh my god, Daisy! You gave me a fright, young lady. What are you doing hiding in here? Oh my goodness. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. I'm not Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Oh, was that a heart attack there? Oh, no. Yeah, Mom, she's been hiding in your closet. And I think the sand came from her because she was playing in the sandbox earlier, she said. She's been hiding here for hours now. What? She went back into the sandbox after I've already given her a bath earlier? Oh, Daisy. And Crystal Star, you knew your little sister was in here the entire time and you didn't even tell me? Well, well, she told me not to and I don't want to be a tattletale. It's not our fault, Mom. We didn't make this mess. Daisy made it all by herself. I'm just as innocent as you are. I didn't know she was in here. I just found out just a moment ago, just before you. Mm-hmm. Somehow, I feel like you've known a little longer than just a few moments ago. Crystal Star Uptown Girl, your little sister is younger. She doesn't know better. But you have to tell me these things if you know she's doing this. Oh, rats. Our little sister always does something naughty and then somehow we always end up getting in trouble for it for her. Alright young lady, it is time to come down from there. No, I don't want to come down. I 
live here. Daisy, come on. Let's come down. It is time for a bath. You are filthy, young lady. No, Mama, I want a bath. You can't make me. No. Oh, don't cry, Daisy. It's just a bath. It'll be a quick bath, okay? You definitely need a bath because you're so dirty and it's time for you to go to bed, young lady. I'll have to give Daisy a bath, girls, and then also put her to sleep. So do you think you girls can help me clean the closet? Oh man, I guess we can't leave your closet this dirty since we're going away on our family trip. Ah, uh, does that mean we have to clean it tonight? Ah, <gasps> no, seriously? Oh man, Daisy's always up to no good, and we always end up cleaning up after her. Uptown girl, sweetheart, can you please see what clothes of mine are dirty and put it in laundry and clean up any handbags or hats that got dirty from Daisy? And Crystal Star, please vacuum the floor and also wipe down any of the tops that got mud or sand on it and really clean up the closet. No, no bath! I'm not sleepy! No bath! Oh, your sister is filthy. Make sure you wipe down anything that she's touched and clean up the floor. And as for you, young lady, you are in big trouble. But since it's so late right now, I'm just going to give you a bath and then put you to bed. But I already had a bath today. I want to take another bath. No more baths, please, mommy. Thanks for cleaning up, girls. All right, come on, Daisy. We're not negotiating. Did you see that? Daisy didn't even get punished. Yeah, and now we end up having to clean up everything. Oh, no. I can't believe this. I seriously cannot believe this. Why did I have to be the middle child? I wish I was like the youngest like Daisy. <gasps> um, Uptown Girl, we got bigger problems to deal with right now. Look around you at this closet. <gasps> so much mud and sand. Um... Oh my god! There's more over here as well! Oh, all of mom's claws! And over here too! Not the top two, right? Oh wow, look at that! And all of mom's jackets? No! No! Oh my god! What are we going to do? <gasps> we have to clean everything. And look, there's more. <gasps> and the floor. Oh, the floor. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to take us all night. <laughs> and that's why I didn't finish packing yet. All because of my little sister, Daisy. <clears throat> wow, that was quite the show. All right. I'm done breakfast. I'm also going to head out. I want to go change as well, even though I still have to wear my sunglasses all day. I want to look cute. Bye, Mom. Thanks for breakfast. All right, girls, get changed and bring down your luggage. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's five minutes. And that's Daisy's first time getting time out. Okay, time out's done. All right, have you learned your lesson, sweetie? Yes, would you like to come eat breakfast now with mom and dad? Or would you like to go back and do another five minutes of time out? If you eat breakfast now, maybe after lunch, we can also go for some ice cream. Or they might even give us ice cream on the plane. So would you like to do more time out or eat breakfast? Uh, no, no more time out. Looking at a wall is really boring. Uh, I'll eat breakfast then. Good decision. Good choice. Mm -hmm. I still want ice cream later. Oh, it worked. Maybe we should have given her some more discipline earlier. See, now she's listening to us. All right, let's start getting ready to head to the airport now. Mm -hmm. I'm still eating. Mm -hmm. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.